Up and at them silver sneakers. It's time for a motivated Monday. Come on up. Hustle, 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 hustle. This is your 11 a.m. wake up call, everybody. Welcome to Silver Sneakers Classic. My name is Curtis Jones, Silver Sneakers instructor for the Glenwood YMCA and the YMCA of Greater Erie. As you can see, I am in my army camo get up today, hence the uh, bugle wake up call. I have never served in the army, but that has been in every uh, army movie I've ever seen. So I thought it'd be an appropriate way to start the class. And if you weren't awake already, you're definitely awake now. And if just in case you need an extra little bit of a wake up, Good morning, everybody. Hope to uh, brighten up your spirits today, this week. Um, so before we get started, a couple of things I always want to make sure that we're aware of. Um, make sure that you have the equipment, whatever you have, uh, weights, bands, if you don't have weights per se, soup can, bottles of water, whatever you have to get creative. But also don't be discouraged if you don't have any of those equipment. Even if you don't have the resistance bands or anything to like use as weights, even if you continue to go through the exercises in proper form, with proper breathing, you will still get a wonderful workout, a great workout, and you'll still feel the work, the work being done in those muscles that we target. So, don't be discouraged if you don't have those if you don't have the equipment. You'll still get the workout in for today. Uh, make sure you're st staying hydrated. Drink plenty of water. I have mine here ready for us to go. Uh, a couple of things before we get started. Uh, take the time if you can first and last name in the comments of this video to make sure that we can put you in our system for taking our class and also just be mindful um, that if you haven't gotten the chance to already make sure that you whether go online or even come into the facility to fill out that COVID-19 waiver so just make sure that if you plan on uh, taking classes with us or coming to use the facility at all uh, that, that waiver is indeed signed and also to make sure that we can also put you credit uh, give you credit in our system so if for whatever reason you don't have it, we can't put you in the system because you didn't sign the waiver. So if you could just do that, whether it be online or you do it, uh, come in and they can help you do that uh, here on site. Uh, keep yourself safe. Hope everyone is doing everything they can to make sure that they're still enjoying themselves, but obviously within uh, the uh, parameters of being safe for not just yourself, but everyone else you come into contact with. Um, before we get started again, just one last thing. I really want to focus on our breathing. Um, not so much take so much time to focus on it, I kind of touch on it a little bit before each of our classes, but when we breathe, I really want you to focus on that deep breathing, that deep breath as you inhale. So let's go ahead and focus on that for a little bit. Let's go ahead and stand up nice and tall, or if we're uh, seated, shoulders back, chest up. Let's go ahead and put our hands on our stomach here. When we inhale through our nose, I want you not to think so much bringing the shoulders up, but I want you to think, bring that breath deep down into your stomach and inflating your stomach like it was a balloon. And then using those same muscles in your abdominal region and your diaphragm, we're gonna ex use those muscles to push that air out. So standing in that nice posture that we always have, we're gonna go ahead, inhale through the nose, and exhale down. One more. Again, inhale, exhale. Notice how my shoulders don't move. One more time, shoulders back, chest up, inhale, exhale. Great job, everybody. Shake everything out. Roll those shoulders back. We're going to go ahead and get started. Nice and easy. Allow yourself to get your body. 
leg movement. Still moving those arms. On my cue, we're going to bring our toes to the back. And we're going to go ahead also and bring those arms forward. Working the range of motion in those shoulders. Strengthening the muscles around the rotator cuff. Keep it going. Keep that nice posture. Toes to the back. Shake 
you to open up your chest. Open up your chest, shoulders back. Now, what I'm gonna have you do, breathe in through your nose, remember, focus on bringing that breath down into your stomach. Breathe in. As you exhale, rotate those thumbs behind you. Deepen that stretch in the chest. Feel a little bit of a squeeze in those muscles in your back. And release. Shake out those arms. Shoulders back. Now let's go ahead and bring both of our feet out. Heels to the ground, toes in the air. Bring your feet together for me. Sit up nice and tall. Protect the integrity of that spine. Keep it nice and straight. We're gonna bring our chest forward while still maintaining that nice neutral spine. And we're gonna hinge down, feeling that stretch starting in our butt, working the way down back to the legs and our hamstrings. Go ahead and take your hands and reach for your toes as best you can. If you can touch your toes, that's great. If not, that's perfectly okay too. As of right now, I'm feeling a little tight, so I can't necessarily go all the way down. And we're still warming up the body, so we don't want to overextend or overwork it anyway. Here we go. Four, three, two. Great job, everybody. Give me a twist side to side. Nice and easy. Four, three, Great job, everybody. Our warm-up and our stretching is complete. Take a drink right now. And again, if you have not done so already, now is a good time to put your first and last name in the comments for the video. All right, everybody. So we are going to start with the lower body first. We are going to start with lunges. A lunge with this motion here. Now, if that motion is gonna to be too much pain or pressure on your joints, feel free to stay standing and do a leg lift or a knee lift instead. If you're going to do that knee lift, keep your posture, bring the knee up, and notice how my toes are pointed up to engage those muscles in the front of your thigh. That's our target muscle, those quad muscles in the front of your legs. Now, if you're going to do a lunge, you're gonna be on the left side of your chair, right foot forward, left leg back. Pay attention to my form here. So, your legs should be about hip width apart, holding on to something if you need to. Shoulders are back, your chest is up. Notice how when I come down, I bring everything straight down, and then I come up. My knee is in line with my ankle. I'm not coming down this way. So if you feel that your knee is going over your toes, then that means you probably need to bring that back leg back a little bit. And also focus on making sure that your upper body goes straight down, straight up. Again, you have your chair. So if you, uh, if you don't worry about balance, you'll have your chair. Again, you're gonna be on the left side. So your left leg is back, right leg is forward. All right? Here we go. Two and two, take your time, come down. One, two. And make sure that back knee does not touch the ground. Your back heel is off of the ground. And we're pushing our weight into our front heel. Four and four. One, two, three, four, and up. Two, three, four. Come down, two, three, four. Up. Again, holding on to that chair if you need to. Down. Two. Oh, I might need to. And remember, if you're not doing these lunges, you're, you're still going to get an exercise. You're still going to feel the uh, work doing that knee lift. Back to two and two. Down. Two. Up. Two. Down. Two. Up. Again. Down. Two. Up. Repeat. Down, two, up, great job. Stay on the left side of that chair. Take the left leg, bring it off of the ground, leg is straight, toes up, 
swing it out to the side, bring it past the right foot. Here we go, two and two. Now, this exercise here is gonna be working those hip abductors, the outer hip muscles. Remember, don't let momentum take over. It's your leg, nobody else's. So, you can control when it comes out, how far up it goes, how long it stays there, and when it comes back in. Don't let momentum take over. You constantly want to be feeling that time under tension. Keep it going for four more. So make sure you hold it for a quick pause, then bring it in. Hold on, keep your balance. Better than me, hopefully. One, two, rest. Kick out those legs. Switch to the opposite side of your chair. I'm not using my chair because I really want you to focus on the form for this one. So, we're on the right side of our chair now. Left foot forward, right leg back. Again, legs are about hip width apart. Make sure everything is pointed straight ahead. Straight down, straight up. Two, two. Two, up, two. Make sure you push the weight into that front heel. Four, four. One, two, three. Take your time, and then come on up. Get down nice and low. And again, if this is going to cause pain in your joints coming up this way, doing this, putting it on the uh, joints, switch to that leg lift. No shame in your game. Not at all. I know I'm in my army camo, but I'm actually really nice. Keep it going. Two and two. Down. Two. Up. Again, you're holding on to that chair to keep your balance. I'm staying away from my chair so you have a full idea of the form that you need to take. And rest. Shake out the legs. Those legs swing out. Again, toes and feet off the ground. Remember, you control. Get that time under tension. To the right, two, two. Out, pause, in, again. Remember, everything I said, you're in control of that leg. So don't let momentum take over. Also, that doesn't mean you have to bring it out and all the way up to your ear. I don't expect you to do that. If you could do that, that's pretty impressive. But what I want you to focus on is more on feeling that tension right on that outer hip muscle as you swing it out, pause, bring it in. Four more times, out, two, in, again, out, two, in, repeat, out, two, in, one more, out, two, in, Great job, everybody. Shake out the legs. Grab your drink if you need it. We're going to continue working that lower body. So we did the outer hip muscles. We did a little bit. We, did, we focused on the quads, the front of our legs. Let's go ahead and work on those glutes a little bit with our squat. Now, the squat is really going to be working the all of your legs. So, you're definitely, you're definitely a little bit of a focus on the gluteus maximus, though, for sure. So, shoulders back, chest up. Again, form is very important. So, what you're going to do, start up nice and tall. Bring your hips back. You're going to bend at the knee, obviously. And you want to make sure that your knees do not go over your toes. So it shouldn't be down here. When you come down, it shouldn't be this. Your feet are flat on the ground. Down, bring those hips back. Keep your chest and your head pointing straight ahead. Push your weight into the heel and come up, squeeze those glutes together, and that's going to be your full range of motion. So, all that to be mindful. Shake everything out, shake out the leg. Give you a little bit of a break, just so we can go ahead and get ready for this.
really fast all of a sudden. Keep it going down. Keep it going. Stay it to the top. We're gonna go ahead. Four and four, take your time. Come down right here. One, two, three, four. Up, two, three, four. Down, two, three, four. Up. Four, four, down, two, three, four. And up, two, three, again. Down, two, three. Four, and up, and rest. Now, feel free to stay behind your chair. You keep your balance if you need it. Now, we're gonna continue on working the legs. What we're going to do now, we're going to be squat pulses. So holding onto your chair if you need to, we're gonna go ahead and get down nice and low in that squat, and it's gonna be small little pulses here. Everything about your form is still the same. Here we go. Bring it down. Pulse it. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. And rest. Great job, everybody. Shake out those legs. Grab a drink. Again, reminder. Put your first and last name in the comments of the video. So up next, what we are going to do, we're gonna go ahead and grab our weights. We're gonna move on to the upper body next. Let's go ahead and just take one singular weight for now. Sitting up nice and tall, open up your legs a little bit. Weight is gonna be in your left hand. Place it on the inside of that left leg. Come all the way down. Sitting up nice and tall, still protecting the integrity of that spine, but you're still hinged forward. So what we're going to do, we're going to go against gravity, and we're going to squeeze, and then come down. Here we go. Two and two, left arm. Up, two, down, again, up, two. Now if you would like to, you can switch your grip a little bit. So what we're doing right here is a neutral grip. Here we go, four and four. And if you want to, you can switch and rotate. So you're coming, bring it up this way. One, two, squeeze those biceps and you come up. Four, four again. One, two, three, four.
you're going to do next is going to be a combo move of sorts. We're going to be working the muscles in our back as well as our triceps. Here's how we're going to accomplish this. What we're going to do with our weights, and again, if you don't have weights, you can still do this without and still feel the benefits, still feel those muscles being worked. Nice and tall, forward in your chair, not bringing your back against the back. You're going to hit forward, bring the weight out in front, we're going to squeeze those muscles in the back, like you're holding a hundred dollar bill between your shoulder blades, and like we're dumping that pitcher of water, we're going to kick back the weights, we work our triceps, then come forward, and back down. That's all going to be in time with the music. Here we go. Combo move, here we go. Row, keep back, forward. Keep going. And this is where that mind-to-muscle connection is very important. Focus in your mind on the muscle being put to work. So focus on that squeeze, kick back, coming back down. Squeeze, kick back. Again. You doing great, everybody. Keep it up. Last one through. And rest. Great job. Now, we're going to do that again. And after that, we are going to split the move. So what we're going to do is going to be that combo move four times. Then you're going to get some eight rows and then eight five set kickbacks. I'm actually going to go to my side to show you this one. Just so you have an idea of the form. Alright, nice and tall. Lean forward. Raise up front. Here we go. Bring it up. Four. Again. One more. Give me eight rows right here. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Hold it at the top. Hold it. Kick back. Eight. Seven. Notice how my elbows stay in place. Four. Three. Two. One. And rest. So remember, when you're at home, you don't want to be swinging your arms with those kickbacks. Keep your elbow in one spot. Extend. Moving forearms. Alright? Great job. Sit those down. If you have bands, that tap into the back of your chair. If you don't, it's perfectly fine. Like I said, you, can, you definitely can do what we're about to do without bands. Obviously, if you want the challenge, you're going to get those, but if, you, if you're going to the exercises, really focus on that mind to muscle connection. Really focusing on the muscles that need to be feeling the work, but still get the benefit of the workout by going through them. So what we're going to do next is going to be a combo move, combining the chest with the shoulders. If you don't have a band, I'd probably much rather you go through these motions without weights, only because when we go out this way with weights, Gravity is causing ourselves to kind of push, like pushing on us because it's going out this way. And it's putting more tension here on your uh, tendons and your elbow than it is working your chest. So if you have weights with no band, I'd much rather you go through these motions without your weights. So, that being said, we are going to combine shoulders with chest. We're going to start with the 
elbows to our side, bands on the outside of our arms. We're going to bring it up to the side, push out through that squeeze of the chest, come back, and down. Just like with the previous move, mind to muscle connection is important. Focusing on the shoulders as you come up, doing a squeeze of the chest, and then coming back. Also making sure that you're not leaning forward into that chest press. It's all in your arms. Here we go. Up. Shoulders, chest. Shoulders, chest. Shoulders, chest. Shoulders, chest. Go again. Shoulders, chest. Back down. Up. Push out. Back. Down. Up. Out. Back. Down. Go again. Up. Out. Back. Down. Up. Out. Back. Again. Up. Out. Back. Down. Up. Out. Go again. Last one through. Squeeze coming out. Feel that work in the shoulders. Again. And rest. Sitting up nice and tall, come forward in your chair. Just like before, we're going to split that move. So we're going to do that combo move four times and then split. Here we go. Nice and tall. Combo move. Four repetitions. Up. Out. Back. There's four. Up. Out. Back. Again. Up. Out. Back. Down. Now, give me eight side lateral raises. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Hold it. Press. Eight. Focus on feeling that crunch in your abs. 
four more. Do two. Down, two. Up. Again. Down, two. Up. Repeat. Down, two. Again. Down, two. Up. Rest. Great job. Now we're going to go even slower. More of an opportunity for you to really focus on that breath. Work those muscles in the stomach. Here we go. Our breath at the top. Exhale, down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four, down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four, four, down, two, three, four, eight, five, two, three, four, again, one, two, three, four. Four and four again. Down, two, three, four, and up. Two, three, four. Down, two, three, four, and up. Two, three, and rest. Great job, everybody. Grab a drink. <laughs> All right. We got time for some balance. Grab your drink. Stand up out of your chair for me. Feel free to stand behind your chair against the wall, whatever you need. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to start with the left heel against the ankle. Here is your starting position for your, for your tree pose. This is your balance exercise for today. So we're going to hold it here. If you want to progress or make it a little bit more challenging, you can, do one, you can do one of those three things. Bring the heel to your calf. You can bring your hands above your head. Or you can do both. Keep it up to you. Here we go. You're ready to go. In four, three, two, right here. Back. Now, if you want to progress, take it up here. Again, you can bring your hands up above your head. You can bring your calf. You can bring your heels to your calf or both. Go again. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. And rest. Now we're going to do the same thing on the opposite side. Start by bringing the right heel to the left ankle. Start with your palms together at your chest. And this is your starting position. Count starts now. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. If you want to progress, take it up now. Engage that core. Shoulders back, chest up. Go again. Eight. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and down. Great job, everybody. We're going to go ahead, go ahead and grab your drink. First and last name in the comments of the video. We're going to go ahead and move on to the our cool down, our stretching, our meditation our reflective time. Again, great job today, everyone. Go ahead and take a seat, grab a drink.
when you decide that you're going to make that decision to make an effort to have a good week, you'd be surprised at how good that week can go. Even if it's not just the week, even if you just take it a day at a time, by making the conscious effort and the conscious decision that you're going to have a good day, I don't know how much you want to you're one to believe in energy, but I'm fully a, a firm believer in putting into the atmosphere, putting out into the universe what you want to happen. Because when you think about it, if you fall into the slump of, oh, it's Monday, it's gonna be a bad, it's gonna be a bad day, it's everyone hates Mondays, grr Mondays, just like Garfield, but if you decide that, you know what, I'm not gonna let that be my start of my week, I'm gonna start this way, this week, uh, within a good mood, in good spirits. Um, now, obviously, situations in life happens, uh, but if you can help it, I want to not challenge you, but provide you the opportunity to change how you think about how you go into each day. Are you going to go into it with a mindset of already being defeated, or are you going to go in with the mindset of a fresh start of the week, a fresh start to accomplish everything that you want to accomplish and just make sure that you set the tone for what you want this week to be. So continue to think on that as we continue to stretch and go through our exercises. What I would like you to do as best you can, I would like you to bring the right side of your body off of your chair. Notice how the, this right knee does not touch the ground. I bring it back to feel that stretch in my quad muscles. And as I'm doing this, I bring my right hand up. We're gonna make our spine nice and long. Now we're gonna bend over the back of the chair and wiggle the wrists and fingers. Getting a lot of different stretches here. Stretching the right side of our torso, wiggling the wrists and fingers because they did just as much work gripping everything. So we gotta make sure that they get their due diligence and their relaxation as well. And we're also getting that stretch in the leg in the front of our calf, in the front of our uh, leg, in our quads. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Continue that rotation toward the back of your chair. You're going to see my back for a bit. That's okay. I'm not turning my back to you. This is just so you can uh, deepen that stretch in the torso. Feel that spinal rotation. Going as far back as you can. Still feeling that stretch in the front of your leg. Hold it there for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice and easy, come to center. You never want to do any sharp, sudden movements with anything involving your spine or your neck. So always take the time to just take it easy, come back to center. Same thing on the opposite side. Let's slide the left side of our body off of our chair. That left leg is going to come back. Knee is not touching the ground. Left hand up, over the back of the chair. Wiggle the wrists and fingers. Again, wonderful job today, everybody. Be proud of the work that you've done today. Be proud that you took the time to watch and follow along. Be proud that you're gonna, if you need to, if you couldn't join right on time and do the live, that you're gonna go ahead and watch this later or watch another class later. Be proud of you taking the initiative and making yourself a priority and not taking your physical fitness, your physical health for granted. Continue, rotate that, make that rotation toward the back of your chair.
one more time. Inhale. And exhale. And that's going to do it for today, everybody. Like I said, and what I want to say before I go, think of what you do in this class as not just something to do because your doctor says you have to. Think of it more as you taking the opportunity and you making yourself a priority. So don't think of it as, oh, this is just another class to do. If you go in with it with that mindset, you tend to feel a little bit rigid and stale. But if you go into it with the idea and the uh, mentality of making your body and your mind and your health a priority, you'll have a lot more fun getting through the exercises. You'll feel so much more accomplished at the end of that. So thank you guys again so very much. I will see you guys back here 9 a.m. on Friday. You guys have a wonderful day. Stay safe, stay hydrated, and go in love. <laughs>